Hi, Mark Savage here. What are we looking at today? Car time. The review of a mini. Love them or hate them. These are not loved by everybody. I mean, not the purists anyway. But they're a nice little mini. Left hand fill, and you get 40 litres in here, about nine gallons. Although the spec says 15, on this one it's got 16 inch alloys. This is the Mini Cooper, not the S. The Mini Cooper S has a vent in here, it's always easy to notice. Plus, the Mini S has a twin port exhaust. The ordinary Cooper is the same here as the one. Engine. You get a lot of spec, really, and you get a lot of choices as well. This one came with a different roof. Nice Union Jack. I think it's better in the black and grey. Inside, very nice red and black leather seats. Run position is actually really quite good. I prefer this one for the dash. On the Mini 1, annoyingly, and a lot of people moan about it, the actual clocks are here for the speedo, and I don't particularly like that. On this Mini Cooper, very, very nice. I do like this dash on this Mini Cooper. And driving here, you have your rev counter and obviously speedo, which is great. Very nice, small little steering wheel. They hold the road really, really well. And I think this is actually quite cute. This is my daughter's car, hence it's uh, handbag time, which is her friend's. Officially, they say this car is a five-seater. No, you're not going to get five people in any way, shape, or form in this car, really. Definitely a four-seater. When lifting the bonnet, the catch is to the right-hand side. Saves you fumbling. Nice little 1.6 engine. The little 1.6 N40 engine. It's the same sort of design. Is a cam chain. I strongly advise you to get that changed or looked at around about 95. It's the BMW 116 cam chain engine. The cam chain tensioner went on this, loads of work. And as it's built by BMW, a lot of parts on here are BMW engines. And as I said, it's the same sort of design. Always check your oil, regularly service them. So, all in, if you're going to buy a mini between 15 and 2,500 pounds. My strong suggestion would be to buy yourself a 1.6 Cooper, better than a supercharger, a lot cheaper than insurance. Maximum speed, about 120 miles an hour, I'm not going to do that. Fuel efficiency, not that brilliant, about 30 to 40 to the gallon, depending how you drive it. A reasonable size boot, enough to get a few bags or the essentials. I think they've got a bit of a chunky butt, a sort of Kardashian butt maybe. Headlights are actually quite good in this little car, you can get some of the Xeon bulbs as well. This is the Mark II. Mark I's suffered from gearbox whining and other little problems. The Mark II seemed to iron that out, and the Mark III now is a lot, lot bigger. Personally, I like the Mark I, Mark II's, as they've got bigger, no longer minis. I mean, fit to a 500 XL. I don't get it. There's lots and lots of different versions of this as well. Now they've got the Countryman and so on, and they get bigger and bigger. I still prefer these. For your money, brilliant value. Would I buy one? Yeah, I would. Winter advice though, during the winter, Vaseline or some sort of lubricant on here, okay? Reason being is when you open the window, the window drops ever so slightly, see that? These freeze here and can cause some damage on electric windows. A nice little budget car, you can park anywhere, feel good and heavy on the road for a small car, comfortable inside, and this is the car for you. Just make sure they're serviced regular, that's the main thing I'd say do little bits to it and it'll go for a long long time stay away from the high mileage ones and if it doesn't feel or drive right and it winds then just walk away not sure if it's on all of them but the doors seem to just come back on you all the time self-closing doors I don't think they designed it that way I like the little driver this car I haven't yet my daughter says she really enjoys it it plants on the roads it should do and uh, she's happy with it so budget car so simple quick review Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. We've got loads of car review videos. If you're after some motorbikes as well, keep watching.